Merry Christmas everyone, welcome back to House of Hair UK. In today's video, I am gonna be doing an install of Nano Ring Hair Extensions. If you're interested in seeing how we got this look, then keep watching. So this is my lovely model or client for the day. She has quite long and quite thick hair, but she wanted to add a little bit more thickness and some more volume. So we installed around 170 strands of nano ring hair extensions. I've never done a video on nano rings, so I thought I'd bring you guys some, you know, a different type of hair extension. So nano rings have a little tiny metal piece at the top and they have very specific beads. So if you can see these lighter color beads here, this is what nano ring hair extensions are installed with and they're absolutely tiny. I don't actually know the size of them, but I use a normal loop tool and I squeeze the top of the loop tool so that allows the beads to actually slide on and then I just stack them up. Um, I install nano ring hair extensions the same way I would install micro rings, but I'm very mindful of going close to the edges or the hairline because you can only use a very small amount of the client's natural hair. So if you go too close to that hairline where the hair is a little bit fragile, you're at risk of pulling the hair or causing some form of damage. So you want to make sure that you leave enough hair left out around the parameter. actually stock nano tip hair in this salon so this lady she provided her own hair she done a collaboration with a company that is called halo london if i can get the details of the company i will put the link below we use three different colors so i believe she used an 8613 then she had a color 17 and then i'm not 100 what the third pack was but it was three different color packs of hair and that is how we got the look it was a perfect blend so the company definitely knew what they were doing by sending her those three different colors so how I install these hair extensions is very similar to how I install micro rings. So we're gonna do two or three rows going in a forward direction. This just gives the illusion of more volume and also it doesn't pull on the hair when she tries to tie her hair up in a high hairband. So I'm just loading it up with the nano rings and then I'm gonna start putting the actual nano hair extensions in her hair after. Installing nano rings you'll see if you see any kind of videos on social media you'll see that a lot of the stylists will actually place the nano hair extensions underneath the client's hair like I just showed you there I personally don't think that it makes a difference however because this lady has got a shadow on her root so her root is darker than the tip of the actual hair extensions it makes more sense to kind of lift her hair up and put the hair extensions underneath and that way it makes the hair extension root less detectable and I'm hoping that it will blend a little bit better so you guys will see towards the end of the video when we put all of her hair down some of the hair extensions were a little bit visible so I had to actually remove them because you could see them and the root of the hair extension is not as dark as her own root fan of nano ring hair extensions we don't actually stock this hair in the salon and my main reason for this is because you can only fit a small amount of the client's hair inside that little tiny micro bead yet the hair extension itself still weighs one gram people really like nanos because they feel like they're very small and they're less detectable but for me after a while of having it in your hair i find that your own natural hair can tangle around that little tiny bead and also it can start to feel like it's pulling on
on your hair. So I really recommend if anyone's going to have nanos in that they only have them in for around eight weeks maximum. And then they need to come into whatever salon it is, come into our salon or whatever salon, and they need to have them completely refitted. So I don't ever do a lift when it comes to nanos. I will take out row by row, comb out your hair, create a whole new section and then put them back in as opposed to opening up that microbead and sliding them up. So here you can see that some of the strands are actually showing. So they're a little bit too light for her root and they're a little bit too high up. So I'm just showing you guys here how I remove that. It's very, very simple to remove nanos. So for those of you who've seen my videos before, you will know my style that I always start filling up the client's hair from the sides first. So on her right side, I believe, I've probably done about seven rows because that's gonna be her heavier side where she's gonna have her dominant side for her fringe. And then on the side that is closest to you guys, which is the left side, that is um, maybe about five rows I've done there. And now I'm gonna start filling in the back of her hair. So you'll notice that I left quite a lot of hair out the back. So this lovely lady is about to be going on holiday. She is going to Dubai with the rest of London, it feels like. And she wants to be able to tie her hair up. And I also recommend that you don't get into water or you don't get your hair wet very often. So you want to tie your hair up when you're on holiday and avoid getting into seawater and even kind of the swimming pool unless you've got the ability to dry your hair straight away. You don't ever want to leave hair extensions to air dry, otherwise they tangle quite a lot. So for that reason, I've left quite a lot of hair out the back so that she can tie her hair up and the hair extensions will not be visible. Here I wanted to show you guys what you do if you've got too much of the client's hair and it won't fit in the micro bead. You're just going to slide the nano bead further down the shaft of the client's hair. And once you've got the micro bead onto the hair, you're just going to gently stroke all of the kind of like bulky strands through just to make sure all of the strands are actually inside of the nano bead. Sorry, I keep calling it micro bead, I mean nano bead. So a lot of the times when you're trying to install nano hair extensions, the client's hair will be a little bit too thick and you struggle to get it inside that bead, but you don't have to worry. If you pull it down slightly, the hair is thinner as it gets towards the ends and you should be able to slide that nano bead on. And here I'm just showing you guys her first two rows and then I'm just gonna continue filling it up. thing to see if it would work for a TikTok. I'm really struggling people to get TikTok content. I just don't know how to do it. But anyway, this is her forehead install. Like I said, I probably used around 170 strands. Um, and now I'm just cutting off the tips or cutting off the ends because they're a little bit more thin and we're trying to create a look of volume. So by trimming off some of those ends that are a little bit more thin and wispy. I always point cut when it comes to single strand hair extensions and that way when they get oily they don't start to separate and look very obvious like you've got extensions in. So I'm just trimming off a little bit of the ends. I'm going to layer around her face and then we're going to add some waves.
So this, if you can remember, was her before length and volume, and this is now her length and her volume after the hair extensions are installed. So to help keep her curls defined, I actually use a little bit of mild hairspray on her hair while it's still in the pin curls. And then I also comb through it with a little bit of hairspray on the comb. They insisted on being part of the video and as it's Christmas, why not? So this is her final look. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.